Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Very good. Very good, and you? I am doing good. Very happy to have the opportunity to be with you once again in another week. Welcome to our class number five. This is a very, very nice moment for us to start another week of a lot of learning. So I hope you had a very good weekend. You are going to tell me a little bit about your weekend in a second. So what did you do on your weekend? Did you rest? Did you go out? Did you do something interesting during the weekend? Yes, no. ¿Qué hicimos en el fin de semana? Welcome everybody. Ajá, ajá. Hello. Hello, Roberto. Tell me, what did you do on the weekend? ¿Qué hicieron week, el fin de semana? Ajá. My case, I visited my, my parents and later I play soccer with my friend at night. Hey, that's good. Thank you very much for sharing, Roberto. Marlon, what did you do on the weekend? Good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, I I play video game, video games with with my brother. Cool. Um only only that. What video <laughs> game what video game did you play? Uh I like play FIFA. Cool. <laughs> I um, like I like it too. <laughs> only. <laughs> only FIFA. Only okay, FIFA. very yeah. good. Very good. Excellent. Yaritza, what did you do on the weekend? Good evening. Hi, yes. good evening. I I work on weekends the most. Oh, you work on the weekend. So yes. uh, who was like me, me too. So we work. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you, Yaritza. Elmer, what did you do on the weekend? Good evening. Hi. I am in my weekend. I visited my family, my parents, and and only. Only that. Okay, you visited your family. That's very good. Thank you for sharing. Mr. Jose, what did you do on the weekend? In house, no. You didn't do anything. You just stay in the house. So you say, I stayed at home. I stay at home. I stay at home. When you don't go out, you say like, I stay at home, right? I stayed at home. <laughs> just. I stay at home. Yeah, but in the house, uh, you say like, no, I didn't do anything. Uh -huh, but when you are in the house, you have to clean, you have to organize, you have to wash everything, you have to fix things. Ahí hay más que hacer que si saliera a cualquier lado. <laughs> sí. Yes. Sí. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jose. Verónica, what did you do on the weekend? Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, sleeping. <laughs> you slept. So you say, I Sleep slept. With my song. Ah, with the song. Ah, yeah, with your song. That's the best, the best way to sleep. Yeah. They just okay. go like next to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, that, okay. That's fantastic. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Mr. Yes, Robert. I, I have a question. Question. Eh, no sé si eso lo explicó la primera clase. Yo me incorporé en la segunda, pero quería saber sobre la plataforma. Ya activé la, activé la cuenta y todo, pero quería saber si eso era un, únicamente mat, material para estudiarlo uno por su cuenta. Yes. Okay. Today we are going to thank you, Roberto, for the question because today we are going to work the platform. I am going to go over exercise by exercise and I am going to show it to you. La plataforma contiene todos los contenidos que yo les doy en las clases. Solo que yo les doy un poco más de ejercicios, me voy un poco más a fondo, 
no solamente como lo presenta la plataforma, sino que yo los pongo un poquito más a que hagan otras cosas, otro tipo de ejercicios, usando siempre el tema que estamos estudiando. Pero ustedes pueden ir avanzando en los ejercicios de la plataforma, que no son realmente complicados, pero si tienen de repente alguna dificultad o algo, en el momento pueden utilizar el chat y decirnos, hey, ¿quién me puede ayudar con este ejercicio? Y todos estamos ahí, al menos yo estoy bien pendiente siempre de apoyarles en, en lo que pueda, cada vez que alguien tiene una pregunta de la plataforma. Y pues si van avanzando mucho más, aún cuando nosotros no hemos cubierto los contenidos en clase, ustedes pueden ir avanzando las secciones. Usted okay. si quiere ya la pudo haber terminado para este momento. Y, y algo más que le quería consultar, ahorita que mencionó, el, que mencionó el chat, pues no estoy ahí yo. Ok, el chat, es el link para unirse al chat estaba en el correo que le enviaron, donde encontró el correo para unirse a la plataforma, ahí mismo está el enlace para eh, unirse al grupo de, de, de WhatsApp. Ah, va. Ajá, ahí está, solo le da clic y automáticamente lo, lo redirecciona. Ahí al grupo y sale ahí unirme al grupo y va a vivir todo ese momento de interacción que tenemos ahí en ese chat. Okay. Se va a hacer de una cantidad de stickers. <risa> que ahí, sí, ahí ya no, no los quieren compartir. Yo no sé por qué, qué pasa ese egoísmo que estamos viviendo en ese chat. Ahorita. Ya, ahí, lo, ahí, no, ahí se puede unir. Ok, ¿Por qué? gracias. Porque igual ahí les envían, eh, les envían mensajes importantes, fechas, seguimiento, etcétera, etcétera. Así que es importante. Creo que si no se han unido todavía, WhatsApp no me paga nada por esto, pero únase al grupo de WhatsApp de Pre Intermedio 2. <risa> no, de, de básico, estamos en básico todavía, principiante 2. Ya los estoy mandando allá a Pre Intermedio. Ya casi, ya casi. Es que eso es cuestión de unos meses nada más. Y ustedes ya se van a estar graduando de avanzado, ya van a ver. Así que, eh, ¿quién más no está en el chat de WhatsApp? Que nos falte por ahí. Hoy les mandé una distribución que oh, les da una idea de más o menos cómo ir cubriendo los contenidos de la plataforma, qué secciones pueden ir cubriendo y en qué tiempo. Entonces, este, para que ustedes lo puedan ir viendo, en esta semana vamos a cubrir la sección 2 y vamos a casi finalizar la 3 en los contenidos de clase, pero ustedes los pueden ir avanzando como ustedes mejor les convenga en el tiempo, ¿ok? So, I am going to share, oh, I was asking people how, how was uh, their weekend, and I was going to ask Mauricio the last question. Mauricio, what did you do on your weekend? Hi, teacher, I rest and go to church with my mom. You went oh, to church, yeah. that's very good. Thank you very much for sharing. So, uh, basically, the platform, it's, it's very friendly. I mean, it's not really complicated. I am going to show it to you. When you enter to the platform, this is the first thing that you see. Yes or no? Ahí me van desmintiendo si no es así. Okay. Uh, when you enter to the platform, this is what you see. And this is what you get. So it is very easy to follow. How do you do it? Okay. Si de repente van todavía como haciéndose familiares ahí con la plataforma, eh, le va a servir mucho esta explicación. Okay. So you enter to the platform and this is what you see. And you tell me, teacher, but where do I find the exercise? Where do I find the exercises that I have to do? You have to click on the section. When you click on the section in the platform, you are going to find this. And this has, it says four questions, right? But it doesn't mean that this is the number of the sections. So you enter here, you click here, and you are going to get the different exercises of the section. So once you enter, you see, she got nervous, that's why <laughs> it doesn't open. You are going to find all the different exercises. I'm going to go to the first one, okay? All the time you are going to find like the definition or the explanation of the exercise first, and then you are going to find the exercise. In this case, you have the explanation in English and the explanation in Spanish, right? Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario sobre los medios de transporte. This was the first class that we had together. And in here, you enter and you have a conversation. On the conversations, in most of the cases, here you have the transcriptions. This is the like the subtitles of everything. So you can have everything clear. Okay. 
In some exercises, you are going to find a discussion box here under the video. Van a encontrar una cajita de discusión en algunos ejercicios. Donde se les pide que, obviamente, tienen que ver el video. Y aquí está. Tienen que ver el video. Tienen que poner atención en todo lo que dice el video. Es casi siempre lo que yo siempre les explico en las clases. Pero aquí, pues, lo van a tener para que ustedes lo puedan consultar después. Aquí dice, por ejemplo, siempre le va a hacer una pregunta al final, que es la que se va y se contesta en la discussion box. En este caso, la pregunta es, how do you get to work? Y aquí ustedes pueden, pues, escribir su respuesta. Okay, aquí pueden ver un montón de respuestas que ya han puesto sus compañeros de módulo. Okay. Once you finish this exercise, cuando ya han terminado todo esto y han puesto su participación en la discussion box, pueden irse al siguiente ejercicio. Igual van a encontrar el objetivo, right? By the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using regular verbs. Here you have the explanation, right? What we studied about simple present. Woo, we did this in many exercises in class, right? Here you have the discussion box on which you have to write some examples, right? You have to write some examples using simple present. And in here, you have your first quiz. You have your first exam. In this one, you have to select an option, right? My family and I. This is plural. What option do you do you have to choose in this case? Live. Live, right? My wife and I, plural. And My you have wife the option. and I is, is plural. Works or work? Work. Work. Work, right? Si los que no han hecho el examen ahorita están anotando. <laughs> so it, it, it's okay. It, it's okay because you get to understand everything. So we... And then you have the two options. We walk or we walks? Walk. Walk. We walk. walk, right? Our daughter, Emily. Our daughter, Emily, in this case, is she. This exercise, we did it in class. The same exercise. Our daughter, Emily, works or work? Works. Works, works because it's she, right? So she, and you have an option here, she drive or drives? Drive. 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 She drives because it's she, right? It's a lady, third person. Or son, don't or doesn't? Doesn't. Doesn't, right? He writes or writes? Writes. Right. Okay. It's he. It's he. Excellent. Very good job. Let's continue. You say he rides. And then we have the second conversation. We did this conversation too. My parents lives or live in the city? Live, right? Live. Because you have my parents, plural, they. My mother take or takes? Take. 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 Takes. Takes because it's she, right? My mother mm -hmm. takes a train to work. My father is retired, so he... Doesn't work or don't work? Doesn't. 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 Very good. He also use or uses? Uses. 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 And the last one you have, so they don't or doesn't? Don't. 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 Right? And then you, when you have everything ready, you click on submit and you are going to have your answers there. Oh, all of them are correct. Amazing. <laughs> Very good teacher. <laughs> so this is an example of what you do. This is a simple exam on which you only have to choose an answer. Then you continue, right? And you go to the lesson objective again. You have the irregular verbs for simple present. Here you have the explanation that we did when we use has, does, and goes. Right? We did the same exercise, but with more different practice. And in here, you have another practice. This is another easy practice because you only choose an option, right? In this case, you have my parents have or has? Have. Have, have right? Because has is only for he, she, and it. My mom and dad, and we have goes or go? 
Go. 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 My parents are very busy, so I do or does? Do. I do. do. I do. do. Very good. The next one. My brother doesn't live with us. He uh, have or has? Has. He has, has. has. has right? Because you Is use it. Yeah, you use it an with him. He has an apartment in the city. Good. He goes or go? He goes. He goes, goes. He goes right? Goes because it's for third person. And he do or does his homework? He does. He does, does. He does because it's a regular form for third person. And the last one you have I have or I has? Have. Has. I have. Very good. His name is Jason. We we go or go. we go? We go. We go. Very go. good. And the last one, and sometimes we do or does? We do. do. We do. do. Right? We do our homework together. When you finish everything, for sure, you click on submit. submit. And you have your exercise complete. Okay? Submit. Vamos bien hasta aquí? Yeah. Good. Yes. <laughs> yes, teacher. Give me the answer. Give me the answers. <laughs> no, but that it's a good thing because later on you don't have questions about how to do the things. Okay. Así después no dicen, es que yo no sabía cómo hacer los ejercicios. La teacher jamás me enseñó. Mm, no, no, no. I did it. I have it, the recording there. Okay. Busque la grabación en Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Y ahí va a estar. Okay. Ahí vaya a verse bien lindo y se comenta en sus, en sus videos. Then you continue, right? Y así, jugando, jugando, ya van a terminar la sección 1. Okay? You have the objective for the next activity. You have the explanation about the uh, time expressions that we studied in the previous class. And then you have a little quiz. For this type of quizzes, you have to be very careful on the writing. Right? For this type of exercise, you have to be very careful on the typing. Because yesterday I was checking an exercise and, and she was telling me, it's correct, teacher, it's correct. Y todo está correcto. Yo ya lo puse y no me sale. La plataforma no sirve. <laughs> and, they, and she was writing uh, on the exercise. She was writing, uh, the correct thing was and, and the person was writing and. So, and, and everything was correct, but she was writing and like that. So you have to be very careful when you copy the exercises. In this case, you have the options here, okay? You have the options to create the sentences. Here you have an example. You every day exercise do. Do you exercise every day? That's the question. Today, we are going to go over this type of sentences. And it says, no, this class starts at nine o'clock. Ah, oh, let's do the number two. At 1 p.m. And the options that we have are, you, what time, lunch, do it. What is the first thing that you need for a WH question? Si vamos a hacer una pregunta, una pregunta con WH, ¿qué es la primera cosa que tenemos que poner? What? 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 Right? What like WH do? word. What? ¿Qué complementa si la respuesta es at 1 p.m.? Do, 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 do you? ¿Qué es lo que buscamos? Si la respuesta es at 1 p.m., vamos a preguntar auxiliar. what time? Time. What time? ¿Cuál yeah. es el auxiliar? Do. 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 ¿Quién es el sujeto? Yo. Yo. You. you. <laughs> what time do you? What is the verb? Time. Eat. Lunch. Eat. Ah, lunch. Ah, eat. eat lunch. What time do you eat? ¿Y el complemento? Lunch. 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 What time do you eat lunch? Okay. What time do you eat lunch? Porque la respuesta es at 1 p.m. No le ponemos question mark porque aquí está ya el signo de pregunta. Okay. The next question is. No, this class starts at nine o'clock. What is the first thing? Si no tienen opción de WH word en las, en las, en las opciones para las respuestas, si no tienen WH, ¿con qué van a iniciar su pregunta? 
Das. 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 Ok, das. Vamos a empezarla con el auxiliar. Ok, después del auxiliar va el sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto en este, en este caso? Star. This. This. Does this class. Ajá. Oh, this this class. class. Ok, this class en este caso es el sujeto porque es lo que estamos buscando. En la respuesta ustedes tienen, no, this class starts at nine o'clock. Okay. Entonces, this class en este caso es el sujeto de su oración. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Start. Start. Y después, ¿qué tenemos que poner como eh, at, complemento? At, at eight o'clock. At. at Eight. Eight. Y aquí okay. tienen que tener mucho cuidado. Si ustedes no tienen, por ejemplo, este simbolito en o'clock, lo que pueden hacer es solo okay. copiarlo de aquí, tal como está ahí. Okay. ¿Para qué? Para que no les dé problema la plataforma. Does this class start at 8 o'clock? Done. Okay. The next one. I study English in the evening. Aquí nos falta una N, ya lo vamos a corregir. Dice, aquí tenemos opción de WH, ¿sí o no? Yes. Sí. Yes. When. 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 Excellent. When. Yeah. Después ponemos el auxiliar. Do you study When do you study English? Do you study English? Very good. When do you study English? And you have the question. Excellent. Let's do the next one. Number five. Yes, we play soccer on Saturdays. Do you have option here of WH? No. No. So no, do. Do. do you do. and your friends? Do you and your friends? Do you and your friends? Es el Play sujeto sport. de oración. Play on sports. Weekend. On Weekend. 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 Do you and your friends play sports on, on weekends? Weekend. Weekend. On weekend. Okay. And that's it. And then when you finish, you click on submit. And that's it. Right? What was the mistake? And let's go and see. Let's see what happened. What time do you? Aquí creo que tengo un espacio de más. Uh -huh. What time do you eat lunch? Okay. Ya ven, ahí tenía un espacio de más. Ese puede ser un error. Okay. Ya ven. Le di doble espacio y ese era el error. Entonces tenemos que tener mucho cuidado en los detallitos así chiquititos que se nos pueden pasar, ¿ok? Yo usé la, ¡uy! Se equivocó la teacher. No, but it was just a space, ¿ok? Era solo un espacio que se nos había ido ahí cuando le dimos eh, y estábamos escribiendo. Esos son los detallitos que tenemos que tener en cuenta. So, for the questions, you have to be very, very careful, ¿ok? No solo escribir la pregunta a la carrera, sino que analizarlo. Primero va WH, después el auxiliary, después el verbo, después el, después el sujeto, después el verbo y después el complemento. Ok, and then, this is what we are going to be doing in the class. So after the class, we are going to come back to this exercise. So this is the way you do it, right? This is the way you work on the platform. Then you are going to work on the next activities, right? And you continue the reading, okay? La reading la vamos a hacer ahora en clase, por eso no hago el ejercicio, sino ya les doy la respuesta. And there you are going to go to section number two, okay? And in section number two, you are going to do exactly the same, right? You have the lesson objective, the explanation, right? This is for the next class, right? The explanation, and then you have the quiz, right? And it's the same format. Later on, when you finish section two, we are going to cover section number three. And let me explain you this one, because this is very, very crucial. So in section number three, you have this that says midterm. Okay. Además de la sección número tres y todos sus ejercicios, ustedes tienen esta parte que se llama midterm. Midterm son los exámenes de medio curso and they help you to analyze your progress here you have a listening exercise for this one you click here on the listening and you answer the questions right here you have another conversation 
Here you have sentences that you have to create. Here you have selection exams, questions for the conversations, and here you have multiple choice. When you finish this one, it is like el, el medio periodo de nosotros. Okay. So in this case, you have to you have to work on this one because it's going to mark the middle section of your module. And then you are going to continue with section four and five. And for sure, we are going to go over the last evaluations together. Okay. Do you still have questions about the platform? ¿Nos queda claro cómo utilizamos la plataforma? La verdad, sí, pero no había, pues no he completado nada todavía. Ok. Ahora, ahora voy a hacerlo. Ahora ya tienen la primera sección, ya está casi completada por todos. Así que la trabajamos juntos para que todos la podamos, eh, para que todos lo podamos lograr ahí. ¿Verdad, teacher, de que todas las clases desde el día uno, por decirlo así, eh, ahí están en la plataforma? En la plataforma no, en YouTube. Y el link de YouTube, igual ustedes lo tienen en su correo. También están en la página de Facebook de Inglés Corporativo. Las pueden encontrar ahí. Eh, y ahí pueden buscar su clase. Van a ver mi cara cabal en el inicio del video. Y ahí dicen, hey, esta es mi clase de ayer. Y ustedes pueden entrar a ver. Todos los días cuando las clases finalizan, yo las subo. Y este, ya quedan ahí para todos ustedes. Así que si Pero pueden... eso no está en la plataforma. No. Las clases de nosotros no están en la plataforma eh, en, este, en este curso en el que estamos. No se suben Liz, las clases a la plataforma. Dime. ¿Me permite compartir solo el compañero acá en el grupo? Claro. Compártaselo, compártaselo. Muy amable, compañera. Gracias. Ya sabes, estamos para ayudarnos todos. Esa es, la magia, esa es la magia del grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Ya ven? Ahí estamos, completo. Ok, okay my dear Ay, students. Perdón, teacher. Dígame, Jenny. Solamente una duda. Eh, donde sale eh, la sección de video, donde sale el video y eso, uh -huh. no comprendí muy bien si también hay que completar algo o hasta la sección donde está la evaluación. Ok, very good question. Yes, there is a discussion under the video. Hay una discusión abajo de cada video. Y es una parte del ejercicio para ver la comprensión que han tenido acerca del tema. ¿Okay? Al final del video les hacen una pregunta que tienen que complementar y ustedes ahí pues la, la llenan. ¿Okay? Aquí, al final del video, les pregunta algo. How do you go to work? Creo que es la pregunta de este. No sé si nos va a cargar ahorita. Pero esa es la que llenamos aquí. Si esto es evaluado, pues obviamente les ayuda a que su progreso también sea eh, totalmente de un 100% en la plataforma. ¿Ok? Ok. Teacher. Así mm. que sí, siempre le sirve para practicar ahí. Igual creo que si ustedes quieren comentar algo que alguien ya escribió, igual también lo pueden hacer. Le sirve para interactuar también con sus compañeros. Ok. So, if I don't have further questions, sino cualquier pregunta, cualquier duda que tengan acerca de cualquier ejercicio, saben que estamos siempre ahí a la orden para contestarla lo más rápido posible. Ok. Let, yes. Yes, Jenny. La, hasta el ejercicio que usted hizo ahorita, hasta ese tenemos que llegar. No, you have to continue in section number two. Porque ah, esa okay. es la que vamos a ir cubriendo esta semana. Ok. Ajá. De hecho, usted puede seguir y si la quiere terminar ahora, termine. <risa> Pero ahí cualquier ejercicio, eh, cualquier duda sobre los ejercicios, perdón, se me cayó algo. Eh, cualquier duda sobre los ejercicios, igual, we are here to help you. Ok, uh, can you see the PowerPoint presentation? Yes. 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 Ok, so we're going to finish talking about schedules, right? Schedules are the things that you do every single day. And for sure, Remember the agreements of a beautiful class. Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Attend your sessions on time. Thank you very much for being here as well on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Right, I really like to see when you interact together. 
So we did a very short review of what we did before. Now with the platform, right? We also started at, in, and on in the previous class. Do you remember when do we use these specific words? When do we use at, when do we use uh, in, and when do we use on? Who can tell me? Ajá, vamos a ver quién anotó ahí. At eh, se usa para el precious time. Uh -huh. In para los meses, años, décadas. Y el on para los días y semanas. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you very much, Vanessa. And thank you for sending the video. What a beautiful teacher you have. <laughs> There I am in the picture. <laughs> thank you. So uh, here, as uh, Vanessa was explaining, right, we use at, in, and on, and here I have the examples, right? At nine, at noon, at 9 p.m., say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekends, on weekdays, right? This is what we were doing in the previous class. And this is a short example of how do you make questions to, um, talk about different schedules. A schedules are like the calendar that you follow every single day, okay? ¿Cuáles son tus horarios? And this is a very good way to ask about it. Do you get up early? Get up, like in the morning? Do you, do you get up early? Right, it's different because in some cases, it's wake up is one thing. Wake up is when you open your beautiful eyes. It's like, boom. Oh, welcome back, right? But in some cases we wake up, right? And we watch a chancleta for like 30 minutes and then you wake, then you get up, right? It is different. Si despierta y se queda ahí viendo el infinito, pensando, me baño, no me baño, que frío. Eh, you can spend like two hours, but then the difference is when you get up, it's like, okay, let's do this. And then you get up from the bed. Do you get up early or late? What about you? Do you get up early, early, like five in the morning, 4.30? Do you get up early? Yes or no? Tell me, yes, teacher, I get up early or I get up late. Yes, I get up early. 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 Let me see. I am going to do the... the the pleno thing. Okay, I have your cameras there. Raise your hand, raise your hand on the camera if you get up before five in the morning. Before four, three, three thirty. Okay, Marlon and Abdiel and Adriana and also Moises. What time do you get up, Marlon? I get up at, at four. 4 and 13. 4, 4 13, las 4 y 13, o 4 30. 4 30. 30. 30. Okay, 4 30. Abdiel, what time do you get up? I get up at um, 4 30. 4 30. 30. 4 30. Adriana, what time do you get up? 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. Who gets mm -hmm. up late? Who gets up late? Late at seven, eight in the morning. Ana Beatriz, what time do you get up? I get up at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Okay, good. Who gets up after nine? ¿Quién se despierta después de las nueve? Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa, what time do you get up? I get up at 10.30 a.m. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful thing. <laughs> at 10.30. Ya ando viendo que hacer de almuerzo. Ya casi. Yeah, that's good. Well, you eat brunch. That's a good thing. Brunch, it's a combination of breakfast and lunch. Okay. Es como los domingos cuando nos levantamos tarde. Bueno, yo no, porque a las seis ya estoy en el trabajo. <laughs> so, <laughs> brunch is when you get together breakfast and lunch. And it is a very American thing. 
that they don't eat breakfast, but they only eat lunch around 11. And they eat whatever thing because it's a brunch. So Vanessa makes a brunch. That's so cool. I really like that. I One day I am going to do it. Well, on my day off, I would like to wake up at that time. Cuando tengo el día libre, de repente yo quisiera despertarme a las 11. Yo digo, ah, me voy a levantar a las 11. 5 de la mañana. <laughs> it's like, and I, I just go and make and do the cleaning. So it's like, meh. <laughs> anyway, tell me. The next question, I'm going to share the screen again. Thank you for sharing your, your, your answers. Do, uh, does he have lunch at noon? Do you have lunch exactly at noon? Cabal a las 12? Comen almuerzo a las cabal a las 12? Or no? No. No. My Adriana, case, no. Uh -huh. Yes, Roberto? Does he have lunch at noon? Oh, no. In my case, yes. Sí. Oh, you have, you have lunch at noon. Good. Or in some cases, you eat lunch at 1 or at 2 p.m. Right? In the case of Vanessa, if she has breakfast at 10.30, what time is your lunch, Vanessa? Uh, 1.32. Okay, 1.30 or 2. Tell me, do you drive to work? Do you drive to work, people? Yes. Yes. Pepe, on the traffic, yes. right? On the traffic. So these are simple questions about schedules with do and does. And if you need a specific information, you use the WH questions. What time do you get up, right? In the first question I ask you, do you get up early or late? And you say, ah, yeah, early teacher, late. What time do you get up? It's an, a specific thing. At 10 o'clock, at 9 o'clock, or at 8 o'clock, at 4 in the morning, right? You have a specific time. What time do you have lunch? And you have an, a specific moment of the day. And when do they drive to work? Every day. When? Cuando? Cuantas veces? Cuales días? Right? Every day. So these are the form of the questions. For the do and does questions, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. For the WH, the WH question, the auxiliary, the subject, and the complement. So, is it clear? Because we're going to do an exercise. Remember this. Here we have an example. And I need you to help me to complete the exercise. And it says, do you get up early on weekdays? And here we have, what time, what is missing there? Do. What time, what time do you go home? Your mother work? What is missing here? Do. Your mother, it when. says, she. Does. Does, very good. Does your mother work? How, you have the WH word here, Si ya tienen la WH word que le falta aquí. It's your father. He. Does. How, How, does. Does. How does your father get to work? Your parents read in the evening. Do you? Do, do right? Do, do. do your parents read in the evening? When your do parents you. start? When do? When do your parents shop? Cuando van ellos de compras? Now, I need you to help me to invent other questions. Similar to the ones that we have there on top, I need you to create other questions. So, if we have examples here, does your mother work? How does your father get to work? What time do you go home? How are you going to create a question using does? Does your sibling work? Okay, let's see. Does, let's be specific. Does your brother, let's say, because your sibling Bro. is plural. Uh, does sure. your brother work? Work. Okay, does your brother work? Yes, he does. What time? How can do you, you like? Do you uh -huh. like to eat? 
what time do you like? Uh huh. To eat. What time? What time do you? I am going to write it here. What time do you like to eat? What? Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Lunch. What time do you like to eat lunch? Okay. And another question with do. Do you drive to work? Do you drive to work? Very good. Do you drive to work? And say like, no, I have a private chauffeur. Yeah, in the 52. <laughs> Yeah, ahí me subo al, al bus y le digo, ok, Jaime, al trabajo. <ríe> y le doy una cor. When? Do you live? Mm, when, no. when, when, ¿cuándo? Uh, no. When? Es cuando. When is your birthday? Hey, well, we say when is your birthday, but as we have when do, we have to use we. When? When do you... Great. When do you work? From Monday to Friday or from Tuesday to Sunday. When do you work? Okay. So when is your birthday is a very good question and it is logical, right? But in this case, we don't apply the rule of using do or does. When is your birthday? In the next month, in Independence Day. When is your birthday, people? It's in October, in September, in July. Okay. January. In January, Adriana. Okay, good. Okay, let me see. Who has birthdays in September? No one? Hey, only me. No tenemos niños de Navidad aquí. Solo yo. Okay, we don't have Christmas kids. Okay, so let's go to the next exercise then. So this is the way we create the questions, right? Let's go, let's do the next exercise. So in this one, I need you to work uh, on your notebook, right? You are going to create the questions using the clues that we have right here. Here you have a very familiar exercise that you're going to say, hey, ¿a dónde vi ese ejercicio antes? <laughs> we just did it in the platform, right? Do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. At 1 p.m., what is the question that you are going to have here? What time? Time. What time? What time, what time do, you do you eat lunch? lunch? What time do you eat lunch? No, this class starts at nine o'clock. Does this class? Uh -huh. Does this class start, start at eight o'clock? Very good. Uh -huh. Does this class start at eight o'clock? And the last one. I study yeah. English in the evening. When do you study English? When do you study when? English? You study English. Okay. When do you? The pronunciation? Study. 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 And English. English. When do you study English? Recuerden que siempre English va a ir con mayúscula y en español siempre va tildado. Okay. Inglés. Me anden poniendo ahí, mi clase de, de inglés comienza a las nueve, no. <laughs> English, in English with capital and in Spanish con tilde, ok. Si lo ponen en, en, en ¿cómo se llama? En, en mayúsculas, minúsculas, siempre póngale su tilde, si lo escribe en español. Si no va a andar ahí en clase de inglés y eso no es correcto. Anatomía. Ya, yeah, aquí no, 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 no. So, question number two, what time do you eat lunch? Question number three, does this class start at eight o'clock? And the last one, when do you study English? Very good job. Let's go with the next exercise. In this one, this is a very personal exercise because I gave you just one example of, uh, of an affirmative sentence and the same sentence you are going to make it negative. 
Here you have some verbs that you can use for you to complement your information, right? Here you have some example of verbs that you can use. Ooh, sorry for my drawing. I didn't go to kindergarten. Well, yes, I did. Let me do it properly. Okay. Much better. <laughs> Here you yeah. have some examples of sentences of ver verbs or activities, right? Drive a car, eat breakfast, exercise, get up early, go to the movies, go to work, have dinner late, play tennis. Yeah, like every day, right? Read the newspaper, sleep late, take a walk or watch television. For Monday, I chose two examples. I get up early on Mondays. I don't sleep late on Mondays, right? And you have one example. You can say for Tuesday, I eat breakfast at seven in the morning in the morning on Tuesday. I don't eat breakfast late on Tuesdays, right? You have to give me an affirmative sentence and a negative sentence. You can use the examples that you have here, or if you want, you can create your original examples to create the activities for every single day. But what is the only thing that I need? I need an affirmative and a negative for every single day, okay? For this one, I'm going to give you around three minutes for you to create it. And you can send me one example in the chat, okay? I need you to complete it on your notebook and you are going to show it to me on camera, okay? What are you going to do? On the camera, you are going to complete your sentences in your notebook, in your agenda, in your paper, and then you are going to show it to me that you finish them. But I need you to send one on the chat for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Okay. So let's work on this. I am going to give you around three minutes for you to complement the sentences, and then we are going to check them on the chat. Okay, let's do that, please. Writing time. I need you to write your sentences. In first person, right? Because it's about you. I play tennis. Uh huh. On Tuesday. On in Tuesday. The on Tuesdays in the afternoon. Uh, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So you say, I play tennis, but I need you to write them, write them, okay? Hagan todas las de la semana, tienen que escribirlas todas. You say, I play tennis on Tuesdays. I am going to write your examples here. I play tennis on Tuesdays. Here, the negative can be, if you say, I play tennis on Tuesday, you say, I, Oh, I don't play tennis on Thursday. Mm, no, because if not, you contradict. You can I say don't I go don't go to the movies. Uh -huh, or I don't go to the movies. Or in this case, I am going to say, wait, wait. I don't play soccer on Tuesdays. Okay, just for you to have a complete sentence, right? I play tennis on Tuesdays. I don't play soccer on Tuesdays. Because if you tell me I play tennis on Tuesdays, I don't play tennis on Tuesdays, it's like, eh, sí, pero no. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 No, so no that, okay, so that's why you need to use two different verbs for one thing that you do and for one thing that you don't do that day. And please, on the chat, I need you to send me one example. So choose one day and send me the example of one day on the chat. Here, I am going to send my example. I Okay. I, I read the newspaper in the morning. I read the newspaper in the morning. What day? Wednesday. Okay. So I send you one example there. I go to work on Wednesdays with a blue shirt. I don't use black shirt on Wednesday. Very good, Gustavo, excellent. It is nice when you have a uniform.
So I sent my example and Gustavo has his example on the chat as well. So if you can send your example there, that will be perfect. My example, teacher. Go ahead. I drink coffee only on Thursday. I drink coffee on Thursdays, only on Thursdays. Okay, if you have another example, you can open the microphone and tell me. I play video games, I don't work, it says, on Wednesday. I take a walk on Friday, I don't play tennis on Fridays. Great examples. Okay, I am reading your examples. Good, thank you. I have four, five, six examples. I go to work at 6 a.m. on Tuesday. I do not exercise, says Jenny. Okay, please, I need 20 examples on the chat. Everybody has to send me one example on the chat. Okay, somos 21, así que voy a enviar mío. Así que necesito 20 más. I play soccer with, and we have a mystery there. Chun, chun, chun. Sergio Rodrigo, it's, it's a mystery. Sí, se envió sin querer. No, <laughs> you play soccer with, and that's the example. I go to the movies on Saturday. I don't go to the supermarket on Saturday. Good. Saturday. 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 Elmer, be careful with spelling. <laughs> Thank you, Elmer. That happens in the platform, you see? Esos son los errores que nos pasan en la plataforma. A veces decimos, hey, ¿por qué me saqué mala nota? I go to work on Wednesdays. I go to work on, Adriana, remember the preposition. I go to work on Wednesday. I don't watch TV. I don't watch TV on Wednesdays. I eat pupusas on Mondays. I don't exercise on Mondays, right? Yes, because you eat pupusas. That's the exercise. El ejercicio de las pupusas es ganárselas al que va llegando. That's the, the run there. Very good. So I am receiving many of the examples. I am going to ask different people and you open your microphone and give me yours. Uh, there in the microphone. Let me see. Sergio Rodrigo, give me your example there in the microphone. Uh, I play soccer with my son on Saturday. I don't exercise on Saturday. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's continue with Gustavo. I sleep Saturday. <laughs> you sleep on Saturdays. Gustavo, your example. The microphone, honey. Sorry. I go to work on Friday. I don't play tennis Monday. On Monday. Good. Very good. Elmer, I read your example on the chat. Kelly, what is your example? I, I watch TV on the Wednesday. On Wednesday? I, when, Wednesday. I, I, I don't know. I go to the work on the Wednesday. I go to work on Wednesday, right? On Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. Good. Let me see the next one. Uh, Moisés Alberto. Ah, he was about to drink water. Go, go, go. Drink the water. Drink, 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 drink. Okay, tómate el agua. No tengas pena. No hay problema. Uh, the, on Wednesday, I have dinner late. Uh -huh. uh, I don't uh, have breakfast late. Okay, very good. 
Jenny, because we have matching shirts. Okay, solo porque nos pusimos el uniforme ahora <laughs> con Jenny. What day? Sorry. No, no, no. Le digo que tenemos el mismo uniforme. Look. Okay. <laughs> I have the yeah. same shirt. <laughs> the same. Hey, ese era el, no, no leyeron el memorándum. Que hoy todos teníamos que venir con el uniforme. <laughs> I love your blouse. <laughs> Go ahead, Jenny, your example of any day. Oh, whatever, whatever day. Whatever day. Okay. Um, I sleep late on Thursday. Okay, I, I sleep late on Thursdays. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I don't go to work on Thursday. Very good job. Thank you, Jenny. And I love your blouse. Thanks. Me, me encanta tu blusa. <laughs> Let's see. The next one. We're going to have a Vanessa. Please give me your example. I go to work on Friday. I don't to go to the mall. I don't go to the mall. Good. Veronica Alvarenga, give me your example. All right. Este... I go to work on Tuesday. Uh -huh. I don't to play soccer on Tuesday. Okay, I don't play soccer on Tuesdays. The pronunciation? Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. very good. Doris, go ahead. Miss Doris, go ahead, please. I go to work on Monday. I don't uh, study English on Friday. Good, I don't study English on Fridays. Excellent job, thank you for the examples. Thank you for the ones that are sending the examples on the chat as well. I don't play volleyball with my students, Mauricio. Remember the, the verb, I don't play. And just a quick review the pronunciation of the days of the week, okay? It, it is not like, oh, teacher, parece bien básico. Yeah, but we sometimes forget. Let's repeat, please. Monday. 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 Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. 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 Thursday. 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 Friday. 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 Saturday. 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 Sunday. 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 Tuesday. 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 Okay, you say Tuesday. 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 And the other one is Thursday. 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 Thursday, Thursday. And Wednesday. 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 A veces decimos Wednesday and it's incorrect. You say Wednesday. 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 It's Sunday. Acuérdense cuando van ahí a las, a las sorbeterías. <laughs> Deme un Sunday, decimos nosotros. Sunday. Okay, that's the Sunday. name of this. Give me a Sunday. Monday. Excellent. Thank you. Let's continue here with the next thing that we have for today. And I have some questions for all of you. Let me see. Do you live with your parents? Yes, teacher, no teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Do both, yes, teacher. Do both of your parents work? Yes, yes teacher or no teacher? Yes, teacher. Do you watch television at night? Yes, 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 yes teacher. No, teacher. No, you don't watch television. Well, no, I I pretend that I watch television. Television. I pretend. Yeah. Mi esposo siempre me dice, mira esta película que no se casó para chiva que no se yo. Sí, sí, la estoy viendo. Eso no yeah. veo nada. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Ves muñequitos? Sí. 
Do you eat dinner with your family? No teacher. No teacher. No. No teacher. No, I eat dinner here with my family. <laughs> Do you stay home on weekends? Yes, teacher. No, no teacher. Do you work on no, Saturdays? Yes. No, no teachers. teachers. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, the, the no teacher. teacher. <laughs> yes, 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 the teacher, yes. <laughs> we work on Saturdays. Okay, so. Teacher, yes? how do you say? Uh, a veces. Sometimes. Sometimes, gracias. Sometimes, okay. So, in the reading time that we have, this is the reading that we have on the platform. So we are going to go over this one just for you to clarify it a little bit. And then you are going to go to the platform and complete the exercise, okay? Cuando terminemos la clase, se van a la plataforma y terminan este quiz de la lectura, okay? Here we have three people, Brittany, Joshua, and Maya. Brittany is a college student. Joshua is a website designer. And Maya is a rock musician. Maya, what's your schedule like? ¿Cómo es tu horario? And uh, Brittany says, my classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. My classes start at 8, so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Mm -hmm. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study mm -hmm. is in the evening from eight until midnight. Okay. Uh, what time do the classes start? For Brittany? 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. What time do they finish? At, at noon, right? At yeah. noon, at yeah. 12, right? And what time does she study? In the evening. In the evening. Good. Let's go with Joshua. He's a website designer. And it says, what is your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 and go for a run before breakfast. Yes. How do you go to work? Yes, Jenny, you have a question? No, 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 teacher, sorry. Okay, good. Uh, how do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. And around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Okay. What time does Joshua get up? 6.30. 6.30. What time does he start working? At 8. And what time does he eat lunch? 1. At 1. One and the, the last one that we have is Maya. Maya, what's your schedule like? I work at night. So I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. She is a rock musician. So she works at night. What time does she start working? At, uh, 10 p.m. At 10 p.m., right? And what time does she finish? 3 a.m. At 3 a.m. And what time does she go to bed? 5. At in 5. In the morning, the 5 morning. in the morning, okay? Now I need you to go to the platform and I need you to complete the a uh, little quiz about the reading section, okay? I am okay. going to uh, stop right here. I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Thank you very much, my dear students, and have a beautiful night. Take good care of yourself. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Night, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care Thank and you. have a beautiful night. Bye.